Hey folks, welcome back. I'm not long back from Cuba. Whilst I was there, I was traveling all around setting up my 2020 photo tour and was enjoying delicious one and a half, two pound lobsters for a bargain price almost every day. Now that I'm back in New York, I've got a hankering for one of my favorite local places. So I'm gonna take you there today. Thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. So look, Manhattan has one of the best Chinatowns anywhere. And today we're going to a place that's Cantonese food. So Cantonese is the south of China and Hong Kong. When there was the, the government change, a lot of great chefs left. And you can actually find some of the best Cantonese food outside of Hong Kong now. Today's place is called Big Wong. Funny name, but great food and really good value lobster. So I was in Cuba for three weeks setting up my 2020 adventure photography tour. If you're into photography or traveling to exotic places, check out mattgranger.com forward slash Cuba. It's gonna be a phenomenal trip and a world of difference from New York City. But flashing forward, here we are in New York City. We took the six train down to Canal Street to Chinatown in Manhattan and the restaurant is on Mott Street. It's not too difficult to find. Put it in Google, Big Wong, it'll direct you straight to it. Big yellow sign out front there that most of the staff speak English or enough that you'll get by. They have English and Chinese menus, so it's not too difficult to order, but I do always like to challenge myself and try and do it in Cantonese. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yeah. So as you probably heard there, I ordered Lung Ha Yi Min. That means lobster with Yi Min or hand pulled noodles. Now that's ordering a single lobster with noodles instead of their normal special of two lobsters with no noodles. So it works out cheaper, but you get a lot of noodles, but just the one lobster. <laughs> These came out within about 90 seconds of ordering them. But most places do make them fresh on site and it is a really quick process. I'm gonna take this one. Definitely Chan Chan Tan style. Not top quality, but there is the Mandarin peel in there. An order of duck, eight bucks, smaller than the half. But I would say it's a good quarter at least. The duck is actually really good. This isn't their specialty of the house, but it's good and great value. That plate for $8 is among the best value I'd say that I've had in New York. And the wonton also here in record time. The wonton on the other hand are just, okay, nothing special, nothing to write home about. And same with the chun fun or rice noodles. Not bad for the appetizers. But here's the main attraction. The lobster, I would say about a one and a half pound Boston style lobster, stir fried with yi min and vegetables and some garlic, ginger, shallots, really nice. The noodles, a little bit thinner than my preference for yi min, I like them nice and chewy, but they were well cooked. The lobster was fairly well cooked, maybe not quite as consistently cooked as previous times but really nice, they always cut it in a way that's really easy to get access to, and they give you forks and stuff, which, because the job is a bit hard with chopsticks, even if you're a seasoned pro at it. So with the two of us on an empty stomach, we still couldn't get through all of that food. We ended up taking away the leftover noodles, got the check, and the damage, nice surprise. Those rice noodles are only $2.25, the wonton $6. As I said, the plate of duck $8, and the lobster with noodles $26.50. So before tip, $48.18. Not too bad considering we had takeaway from it and a whole lot of food. If you do get down to Chinatown, check out some of the grocery stores nearby. 
They have all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff, like chickens, anyone? Fresh turtle, alligator claws, frogs maybe? All weird and wonderful, but remember the first time you saw chickens hanging in the window of a barbecue restaurant, they looked a bit scary too. So broaden your horizons, try something new, and if you get to Chinatown, do check out Big Wong, it's one of my favorites. Cheers guys, please do make sure to like and subscribe to join me on my future journeys to find the world's best seafood.